hey guys i am on the same page uh, my internet connection was dead so now i have changed the internet connection and i am on the same page just will click the php my admin so we can see that the database is exist existing or not which we created and this is the user online tu uh, inside this online database server so we can just see that there are many databases and we have a database uh, online tu underscore e-commerce you can see you can observe over here you we'll click it so you we'll click it to open it and you can see no tables found in database so there is no table in this database because we just created this now we can simply upload or import this ecommerce.sql database that we had already in localhost and we have imported that to our computer so we'll just click sorry we exported that we'll just click import option here this is online server and we'll choose a uh, file it will take us to our computer inside the e-commerce we have ecommerce.sql file this one and we'll just click open let's open now just come here other all things are okay and we'll say go within few moments uh, which is usual it has just imported all the tables to this database now just click online to you underscore e-commerce and you will see this admins brands cards categories customers and products and everything that we had on an on online server now this is time to go and change the connections first of all we'll go to includes folder or here the main folder i mean my shop we have uploaded all this folder and files to this first of all we will go to includes and this is the db.php file or here we will simply use this code editor to click edit we will simply edit the we will change now these uh, parameters the local host will be the local host because a uh, on online server you use the same local host or IP address and the user for this will be uh, online tu underscore wally because this is online server we need to change the username this is not local uh, server and the password will be we have the password over here that we saved in a notepad file we'll use control c to copy it we'll paste it inside the password field that was empty on local server but now it has a password because this is online server and the database name is basically online tu underscore e-commerce that's it we'll save ch make save changes click this save changes and after that we will actually copy this whole this line basically using control C and we'll just close this file now we'll go up back to this my shop folder we'll go to functions functions page and just we'll edit this using code editor and we'll put the database connection over here let's paste it the online configuration with the online configuration save also close this go back there no go to 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 customer there is also functions and just s s s s use code editor to replace the new connection there as well just i have pasted it online connection and uh, inside the customer folder we have include folder as well inside that we have database connection just we will change this also to the new online connection and make save changes and uh, we have admin area where we need to change the database connection inside the includes folder according to online one 
because that is the local host connection now we have online another connection for online just I will remove it and paste that one we'll just make save changes that's it now come here this was not showing the data and categories and brands the data which are, uh, was coming from the database and also this is the error for SQL uh, SQL error now just refresh this page and still there is nothing <laughs> actually we need to create another user why because this password is not for that user this password is for a different user we need to simply go to you know mysql databases and go there and create click create a new user create a user sorry this will give it a name for example uh, online to you mama this will be the name and password will be something like uh, this one we'll save this password in here and we'll ok use this create click create user this user will be created because that password we used is not for the the user because we did not create that user there was an error if you remember in previous lecture there was an error while creating the user because that user was already existing so we actually did not use the correct password now online tu underscore mama user has been created and now we will add this user to that database just scroll down and this is the user online tu underscore mama and this is the database so we will just click add and we will click all privileges and click make changes and that's it once again come back and change all the things man just copy this password we'll use this code editor again and uh, the password will be this one now this is the password and username is basically user for this database is online to you mama ok save it and I will copy this line copy it and will close this page go back to customer folder again inside the customer go to functions edit this page change this one connection to again to another one I have just pasted the new connection will go one level up inside the includes folder there is a database connection we'll simply go to edit it and change this connection again once again change it just save changes and now again go to my shop in my shop there is a functions folder click double click that and go there edit and remove this connection and put the new one just paste it that just lastly we will go to includes in the main folder and uh, just change the db.php page so it was a headache a little bit but we did it that is a good thing I have pasted it replaced the new connection with this now we have done I guess we have done what we needed now we need to again replace this page online tu underscore wali user online tu wali it local hosting your password yes
you don't have online TU Wally online TU Mama is there in TU e-commerce Oh sorry, this has come now. That was a previous message. Everything is okay. Just I refresh it, and uh, you can see this is. It took a little bit time to show all the categories and things like that because when second time I uh, established the connection, that was absolutely okay. There was nothing, uh, no problem, but it was not showing. Now you can see this is your website online. You know. Uh, www.onlinetutoring.com my shop and we uploaded this whole project to my shop so you can see the products the menu the categories and things coming from database and everything and you can also go to admin area click admin area so you will be taken to that login page this one and this is online basically okay and you can also click product so you can go to cart and uh, you can also go to checkout and this is all being done online and if someone logged in I mean enter password and email so they will be taken to okay thank you for logging they will be taken to pay now with PayPal button and when they click over here on this button on the checkout page they click this so they will be taken to PayPal which we have we had given in previous video basically now you can see this is the PayPal page HTC 200 years price HTC mobile is its uh, uh, title and 200 US dollar the person can pay now they will pay and Abdul Wali's test store this you can see this title that is PayPal has taken from my account and you can above say this is the URL sandbox dot PayPal dot com so basically next video we will come and we will test the PayPal payment or this stay tuned